सो गाइस सेक्सुअल असॉल्ट विक्टिम को किस तरह से एग्जामिन करते हैं विल डिस्कस इट इन डिटेल टू लेट्स प्रोसीड विद द ओवरऑल द प्रोसीजर सो जस्ट द प्राइम इंपॉर्टेंस इन एनी एनी केस ऑफ सेक्सुअल असॉल्ट इज टू मेक द विक्टिम कंफर्टेबल to counsel them to make them comfortable so that we can take detailed history regarding the general uh, uh, overall incidents as well as their uh, their other related history as well as we can go with the examinations and sample collections just to take the general history regarding the uh, the 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 uh, time of incidents regarding the place of incidents regarding the the uh, any 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 significant history any history related to circumstances of the sexual assaults any history of any trauma any history of uh, any any previous uh, this uh, kind of uh, uh, surgical or any any kind of procedures uh, if uh, there is any history so so the, the detailed history is very uh, as you all know that history taking is uh, an art in itself so try to collect as much as uh, information possible regarding the incidents as well as the regarding the general overall conditions of the victim so let's proceed with the examinations so the examination uh, will be done from outward to inwards we'll go with the uh, examination of the clothes then we'll go uh, the examination of the inner clothes then for the overall head to toe examination and then collection of samples now the victim uh, will be standing on a white sheet a white sheet is available in each kit and this sheet uh, just spread out the sheet and ask the victim to stand on the sheet so that all the trace evidences or any any kind of evidence can be collected uh, on this sheet and this uh, try to fold this sheet in the same manner as uh, you have unfolded it and then uh, uh, the collect all the trace evidences or any kind of body fluid any hair or anything any debris on the sheet and then fold it and seal in the proper envelope now this is for the oral swab make sure uh, you will be uh, in fully protective gears considering the covid condition as well so oral swab uh, should be collected in a separate uh, envelope and after taking swab just air dry it and then pack it in the uh, envelope provided then next is to bl blood collection of the victim as we have collected urine and blood in separate uh, vials then this is for the uh, rectal examination just take a rectal swab Uh, both uh, from the actual uh, surface of the rectum then one swab from the inside of the rectum then uh, dry both the swabs and then seal them and this is for clipping of the pubic hair make sure the uh, you will clip them uh, all the all the pubic hair and then uh, preserve them now this is for the uh, uh, the clipping of matted pubic hair if any kind of strain is there on the pubic hair then then you will uh, clip those uh, matted pubic hairs and seal them now this is for the combing of pubic hair just to comb the pubic hair and then collect them in a separate uh, container now this is for the cervical mucus collection just just to collect out uh, the accumulated mucus from this uh, cervical area so this is also important for finding out any any foreign substance or any any seminal strains or any kind of infective foci now this is for the washing some uh, sort of fluid is there just flush that fluid in the vagina and then collect the vaginal washing in this uh, container now this is for the culture we'll take a, a smear and then uh, the send it to the concerned uh, laboratory for the culture for the bacterial culture and this uh, is for the breast swab we'll take the breast swab as the in the, in the same manner as we have taken from the uh, oral or the the rectal swab just uh, dry it and then seal it now this is for the vaginal secretions any kind of secretions should be collected in a separate container and preserved now this envelope is uh, for the nail scraping just to scrap out uh, the nails and then preserve the uh, debris now this uh, is also for any kind of other debris on the body or any other area of the body now this is the swab in between finger it should be taken uh, from uh, in between finger for for any any kind of foreign substance or any kind of debris and all now this is also for the debris collection and this envelope is for the body fluid any kind of body fluid should be collected in a separate container so that uh, the proper examination as well as the investigation can be done and can be correlated and circumstantial evidences can be collected and these trace evidences are uh, very important to collect and to check the cross check with the histories uh, given by the victim as well as by the the uh, any any uh, related witness 
then one very important uh, step is to uh, just to just to make sure that uh, the envelope should be properly uh, pro uh, properly uh, the um, all the information should be properly written in in uh, your uh, own handwriting and all the information regarding the police station uh, police station regarding the fir or the dd number the date the uh, uh, detail regarding the io and where are you sending those uh, the uh, envelopes that should be written and uh, it should, should be signed and uh, dated and proper uh, stamp one very important step is to just to uh, maintain the chain of custody and it is uh, at times very important uh, by the doctor itself to maintain the chain of custody because um, it is very important to to make the or uh, overall the trace evidence is very confidential because this is the part of investigation and at times uh, you you definitely feel that there may be some some breach in the, uh, in the chain of custody and it may be a it may have serious consequences at times so make sure all uh, envelopes are properly sealed signed and with the uh, with the proper uh, the the seal uh, should be uh, there and make sure the seal, the seal uh, is having uh, proper the sample seal along so that uh, the uh, the concern authority while opening they can cross check with your sample seal just collect all these uh, envelopes and then pack in a separate kit provided and then seal them in proper envelope and then send to the concerned laboratory so that's it for now thank you so much